The minister may now make intervention. I stand today to speak on a resolution that seeks to cast aspersions on citizens and constitution alike. Through this resolution, an aspersion has been cast on one of the holiest of books for us as citizens, not only as members of both houses of parliament, that our nation at large seeks to divide people on the basis of religion and deny access to a better life in the present and in the future to those who belong to the minority community. Sir, for me, this resolution, which casts that aspersion of inequality, this resolution that casts an aspersion, in fact, reduces it to a slur on the basis of religion, is a resolution I hope this House unanimously rejects. The resolution, sir, says that women in the Muslim community are not given an equal opportunity to get educated. I would like to hear, sir, highlight through your kind self to the House that after three decades, India now has a new national education policy. I had the greatest of privileges, sir, to help bring about the foundational document of the national education policy. Sir, through this house, I wish to give my gratitude to the Honorable Prime Minister of India, who then directed <coughs> that let not a policy be written which will determine the future of India by only a few in the corridors of power in the national capital. For the first time, sir, to ensure that the national education policy comes to life, the government of India went to every village education council in our country. The government of India reached out to every district, to every educational institution, which included districts, blocks, village panchayats that compromised of our minority community. And every community, sir, through that resolution and their inputs in the national education policy, for the first time now, sir, comes the Gender Inclusion Fund, which looks at the possibility of enhancing infrastructure for women and their academic needs. Sir, today I can say that the new education policy looks after the needs of academics and women, academics and young children, and the fact that this government institutionalized the first ever Ministry of Skill Development, this government, sir, also addresses the needs for skilling for a new India. A new India, sir, that is envisaged cannot be broken down on the basis of religion. And that is why, sir, I would request through you to the entire House, unanimously reject this resolution so that we who build the new India under the leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister with the support of every citizen, sir, can build it on issues of inclusion, on issues of equity and equality. Thank you, sir.